Yo, Snapchat, so I got a wedding today. Why isn't it the norm that you just like pay, you know, the cost per head and that includes your drinks and your food? Why is it that that's free but we have to then give them a present? But anyway. So let's talk about this idea I've been sitting on for a while called Perium, which is kind of like the Ethereum equivalent of networking humans uh, and basically putting humans on the blockchain with their own IPv6 address. So IBM is working on a system for the Internet of Things called Adept, um, and they're using a combination of Ethereum and a bunch of other things, but basically it has to run on the blockchain because there's going to be like trillions of these devices that need to talk to and when you have trillions of devices that like basically every single device operating on a single standard, like which is what blockchain is, is a single data uniform standard, you get these amazing, amazing emergent benefits. But the one thing we haven't done is really like networked humans in that way. Um, you know, each of us operate in our own little data silos. You know, some of us might be on Facebook Messenger, some of us might be on WhatsApp, we have different addresses, how do we access our content? Some people use Google Calendar, some people use iCal. So it means like you've got every single individual person not only has like uh, different products and, and things in different data silos, but they become silos. So what I'd love to see happen is for every single human on the planet, like from birth, basically be issued with an IPv6 address, a unique address that's unique just to them, and then have that registered on a blockchain. You probably include some kind of like DNS uh, system that basically links that IP address to that person um, and that wallet address recorded on the blockchain, and then they can add other things on top of that. So not only on that system could you store your, say, bank accounts when everyone's using cryptocurrency, but you could also store all your social data, all your like, driver's license, your IDs, everything, and you control that data. And then the cool thing is that because it's an IP address, it's actually publicly available. So you can actually create a automatic API. So you could do, you know, IP address slash uh, get messages or post messages or something like that. That would then allow the individual to actually share data um, publicly as much as they want, but also accept and uh, deny personal requests to more privileged data. And then once that system's in place, we can start doing the cool stuff that was promised by the semantic web way back in the day, maybe like 10, 15 years ago. Um, and I'll explain some little concepts around that and what you could do with... with yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the common examples with the semantic words was, say, uh, booking a dentist appointment. So you need to book a dentist appointment, you basically say to your bot, hey, I need an appointment, go out and find it. They go and check the dentist's calendar and then check yours. And in a world where everyone's calendars are all open and that data is shared, you're actually able to do those things automatically. You know, you don't have to manually wait for the dentist to get back to you, you don't have to call them up, it just happens automatically. We can even be broadcasting data and other, other systems can be listening in on that. So every morning I go down to the beach and get a coffee, So, I'd be, but I go to different cafes. So it'd be cool if it knew which cafe I was going to and had the coffee prepared before I got there. Another use case would be health data. So imagine if my doctor could just hit my IPv6 address slash health and get all my health vitals and he has special authentication to get much more detail. A platform like this too could also actually help um, network people together. I mean, right now it's really hard to find a specific person in the world unless you really know them on Facebook or somewhere like that. So if you break it down, really this system is just like a blockchain system for humans where all of the data is stored in a decentralized blockchain which they have control over and then a IPv6 level API on the front which then automatically creates a API for every single human on the planet um, which developers can easily use. I mean, most developers know how to use APIs much more than blockchain technology at the moment. The hard part with any of these systems is how do you get everyone on there? Because it only, it only gets these amazing benefits when everyone's using it, when everyone has an IPv6 address and everyone has their data on there. So stop your thoughts, our future, what do you think? Uh, how would you make this system better? How would you actually deploy it? How do you get people to use it? Yeah, let us know. Nathan Waters, our future. Yeah, this is this is the fucking future, man. This is the fucking future. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Jeff, man, do us be looking out for the carpet. Look out for the carpet. Oh yeah! <laughs> backwards. Go backwards. <laughs> <laughs>